So the most important thing about stealing a boat is taking possession of it. This boat was going to be used to test some stuff and I've been working on and around it at the boat yard. And after they came and took the carver away in order to weld the solar panel rack on the carver, I said, I've got all my tools in my garage. Why don't we move this boat to my driveway? And they said, okay. Well, it's a lot narrower than the carver. And what foot shorter? And that's just it. I have the wonder if it'll go under the bridge to my dock. That's different. This is the inside of the stolen boat. It's air conditioned. I always hated putting air conditioners in the companion way of sailboats. If there is any other way, any other place to put one in, it was out of the way. In the companion way, it's just quick and dirty and easy and you throw a window rattler in there in one afternoon, but then you're stepping over it forevermore. So that's what I did here. So I could work in the boat in an air-conditioned environment. Oh yeah, I leave those LED tube lights on all the time. So at night bugs are attracted to them and somehow find their way inside the boat. And I got this vacuum that uses the same batteries as my power tools and I've got a flashlight and a spotlight that use the same batteries. Now I'll fold up this tripod so that I can show you a different view of the boat. This is looking underneath the cockpit. The companionway stairs actually fold up so to give easy access to this area and there's these two big padded mattress things that fold down and actually makes a queen size bed underneath there there's room to sit up at the edge And this is the kitchen straight ahead with the microwave, a coffee maker, and the sink. Now check this out. This is a space warping trick that I can do. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's the settee where I am, and straight across from me is the the table and there's a bench seat on either side of the table but the one towards the bow um, has an Alpacool cooler on it 
that is the refrigerator and there's a second smaller alpacool that is set lower to be a, a freezer. I had the alpacools so for now I set them in here. If nothing else it's a good way to store them. So this is underneath the cockpit in that big queen size bed and at the moment I'm laying lengthwise relative to the boat and now I'm laying across sideways across the boat and there is room to lay down that direction as well and this big bed there's room for three or four kids at least or lots and lots of space for two adults four if they know each other pretty well there's also the V berth up front and the table folds down that's room for one person with a lot of space or two people pretty close together so this thing goes on the motor to supply cooling water to it so that I can start the motor here in the driveway. And there's that air conditioner that I step over all the time. That was the kit for the boat. Everything needed for the boat was there. And this is a baggie. Including official papers from the state. And the key. Oh, a lot of those. What is Project 171?
that's your problem right there. Yeah, that's nice. That's what I like to hear.